Hey guys, my name's Ken Elias, I'm from Fine Form Physio and I'm pretty excited today because we're talking about one of my greatest passions and that's golf and how physiotherapists can help golfers take their game to the next level. I am recently became TPI certified, so that's with the Titleist Performance Institute and I just came back from Japan, so I'm really excited to be here today and share what I've learned with you guys and hopefully I can get more of you in and help you out. So, I want to introduce Tom, he's another physio, a team member of ours. Mm -hmm. He's going to introduce himself and tell us how he got into golf and the problems he's been having as a beginner. So I'll let Tom take over. Hi, my name's Tom. I also work at Fine Form and uh, in our clinic we see a lot of golfers and I uh, decided to take up the sport to see what the fuss is about. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very good. My consistency is my biggest problem and um, so what today we're gonna do today is Ken's gonna provide me with the physical screening we're gonna see where my limitations are and from then on forth he'll analyze my swing and then provide me with the right exercises and tools to take myself to the next level okay so I'm gonna take you through the screening now there's 14 tests obviously we're not gonna have time for that today so I'm gonna show you some of the most common ones the first one we're gonna do is a hip rotation test so I've got Tom set up here with two golf clubs and this is the target. We're going to try and get his hips to rotate past this line. So Tom, I'm going to get you to bend your right knee first and I'm going to get you to turn your body all the way this way. So as you can see, Tom's pelvic angle lines up with the club so he passes that test. So that was testing left hip rotation in the downswing. Now, swap legs, bend this knee and rotate again. Now. Tom's only getting this far. He needs to get this far. So that's actually a fail. That's testing his right hip rotation in the downswing. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side now and test his backswing. So, I'm gonna set the club up like this. Tom, I'll get you to come over here and bend your left knee first. Okay, and turn your body. Perfect. So he passes this test, he's well past the line. That's right hip internal rotation for the backswing. Very important. Okay, swap and then rotate again. Again, he fails. He fails on his left hip for external rotation in the backswing. Should be here. Okay, thank you. Okay, time for our second test. We're going to now measure the dissociation between Tom's upper torso and his lower torso. So this is called the pelvic rotation test. Tom, I'm going to get you to set up in your five iron posture. Okay, now what I want you to do is rotate your pelvis like this, keeping your upper body still. I'm going to get you to try that for me. Keep going, Tom. As you can see, Tom's not too bad, but he's getting a little bit of upper body movement here. If you can see that shoulder moving, that's, we don't want that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stabilize him like that and then get him to rotate and you can see it's a lot easier for him. How do you feel? That's it. So that's actually a stability issue. So he fails that test but we know we're going to fix it with some core stability exercises. Okay, now I'm going to show you a really bad example. I happen to be terrible at this test so I'm going to use that as a sample. Okay. Like As you can see, Ken's shaking quite a bit, so I'm going to help stabilize him. <laughs> and then the movement is not that great. So, so, my problem is not a stability issue, it's a mobility issue. So, hopefully, Tom will then be able to work on me in the clinic and loosen up my joints so I get better movement. Okay, first we're going to look at Tom's down the line view of his golf swing. So, we'll play it in slow motion first, see what's happening. Okay, not a bad shot. All right. Let's look at first the blue lines, okay? This is called a three posture line. So we're lining up his head, hips, knees and ankles. And what we would like to see in his starting position, we've got those lines there. We want to see Tom maintain those joint angles throughout the whole swing and rotate about those lines. So let's see what happens. 
comes up, looks good so far. As he comes down, he starts to come off that line. If you look at his right knee, and through impact, and he's come forward. Now, this will affect all aspects of his swing, most, but in particular, timing, balance, and rhythm. Okay, and then this is um, linked then to what's happening at the red line. If we go back here, this red line is at the starting position. His bum is touching that red line. And throughout the swing, we do not want to see any daylight between his bum and that line. But as you see, Tom has come forward already here. Yeah. That's early extension. So you can see a gap between his bum and that line now. So that means he's moving closer, his body's moving closer towards the ball in the downswing, and that's not what we want to see. This is usually due to stability in the lower body, um, limited rotation in the lead hip, and it will definitely affect his accuracy. As you can see there, it's quite obvious, he's come way off that line and come forward. So he has to stand up a bit more. And that's what caused him to come off his blue three posture line. Okay, we're going to look at the front on view now. Okay, we have Tom in a front on view now. He's going to swing the club again for us. And what I've picked up on this swing analysis is two swing characteristics. The first is hanging back and the second is casting slash scooping. Okay, so... Let's go back first and look at hanging back. So as Tom's coming down on his downswing, he's supposed to transfer weight onto his left left limb or front leg and close the gap between his hip and the red line. But as you can see, probably at about this point, he starts to hang back and he never does close that gap. That's hanging back and that's due to not shifting weight correctly on the downswing. This can be due to poor strength in the hips, limited mobility or instability of the front hip, which we know he does have when we did that lower quarter rotation test, or from poor technique and lack of coordination in the hips. Okay, so that's hanging back. Let's have a look at um, his scooping and casting. All right, so as he comes down, we're going to watch what happens to his hands as they go below that blue line. As you can see, the club head is below the blue line. At this point, when the hands first cross that line, the club should be up here still. So he's lost a lot of power there because of that. Now, as he comes through... So that's called casting, like you're casting a fishing rod. And then after impact, his lead hand, his glove hand, is still on top of the trail hand. And that's called scooping. So this is usually due to wrist flexibility issues. And we didn't do the screening for Tom's wrist, but he actually does have a wrist injury and he did fail some of the wrist screening procedures. So that is definitely a contributing factor to why he is casting and scooping and um, having limited power in his golf swing. Okay guys, thanks for joining us today. The assessment component is done. We are back at the clinic. We have treatment to do. We'll save that for another video. Um, yeah, Tom, how was it? Uh, I had a great time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this informative. If you did, Google us, uh, Find Form Physio Top Ride, and make sure you like our channel as well for new updates and very exciting videos to follow. Alright, thanks guys.